saving MP layouts to your library and using them on a page can be really easy and fun using the DVDen on demand plugin. You can download this plugin from our website under DV plugins page. And you can download this plugin just by clicking the download button. You can choose to subscribe and download or just download the plugin without subscribing. The choice is all yours. Once you have downloaded the plugin, install it and activate it. Then go to settings, DVDen on demand. Really important thing to mention here is that you need to have the MP Assistant plugin installed and activated as well and API key activated too. When you open DVDen on demand dashboard, you are going to see filters options on your left and all our layouts on our right. To make sure that you see only MP layouts, toggle new collections and check MP collection. This is going to filter MP layouts only. You can preview these layouts by hovering them or you can click the view button to see a layout on an actual page. When you have found the layout you would like to use, click the save button and this is going to save this very layout to our library. Now you can go to a page and simply click the load layout button and choose your saved layouts. Layout you just saved is going to be listed here and you can simply click on it and it's automatically going to be loaded onto the page. Also you may have noticed that you have this new tab dividend on demand and you can load the page layouts directly from here. You can see the same interface as before. Simply click the load button and the layout is going to be loaded onto the page. If you would like to load only individual sections and modules, use add from library option instead. Also let me show you what all filters you have here. You can use the search box to find the particular module or page layout. For example, you can type in the header and only the header modules are going to be listed now. And you can toggle DV modules. So you can check for example blog modules, blurbs, buttons and uh, many many more. Make sure to check all these filter options so you can easily find exactly what you're looking for. If it happens that instead of save button you see try for free or something else that may be due to a couple of reasons. First you need to make sure that you have the MP assistant plugin installed and activated otherwise you're going to see uh, the button to purchase the MP. Also what you can try is to deactivate any caching plugins that you might have installed on your website and also you can try clicking between the layouts, uh, the right clicking between the layouts then this frame reload frame. This is going to reload only uh, the right side of this dashboard, only uh, this layouts window and now you should be able to see the save button. That's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching.